In 2011, we celebrated 100 years of the Indy 500. And um, just seeing actually all those cars lined up on the way to the start line, we did a sort of static moment uh, on the straight in front of the house with them all there. And they stretched from like pretty much from the crossroads right back up to the bridge. And it looked absolutely incredible. <laughs> We had a great, great lineup of drivers, masses of help from the museum. We had uh, Al Anser Jr., Johnny Rutherford, Danny Sullivan, Emerson, who's been so many times, such a great supporter, Bobby Rahol, Dario Franchitti, Scott Dixon, Castro Neves, Gilles de Ferran. It was, it was a, a wonderful lineup and, and very emotional, I think, for everyone to sit there and see them on the start line. <laughs> I drove the Lotus Turbine, actually, which was probably one of my more frightening, uh, more frightening moments on the hill, as it's, uh, I was just told under no circumstances to hit the red button, and then managed to hit the red button with my, the back of my hand, which was fairly stupid. But um, I didn't hit the green button, luckily, which is the booster button, which is the one you want to, to uh, the one you have to bang when you want another 500 horsepower or something, you're already doing 220. Um, I just couldn't believe that they nearly won the 500. <laughs> Screwing up all the time, actually. Yeah, so it's rather having the throttle jammed open. The uh, the brickyard gave us those wonderful bricks too from the original from the original track, which we uh, laid into the start line. So now when you sit on the start line at the Festival Speed, you're actually sitting there in front of the, the bricks from the original brickyard. So a great connection and we love, we love the relationship with, uh, with Indy and the race and of course the museum.